what's it like to lead men? Well, here's the thing. I don't know what it's like to lead women. <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> I wish I did. This is the largest room of women I've ever been in my life, <laughs> right? Now, to be honest, in this picture, um, this is a picture, if they bring it up, of me, um, the commander of an F-15 East fighter squadron. That's my tail number, 1684. That's about two-thirds of my squadron. The other uh, ones are actually out flying, so they didn't make the picture. And in all honesty, there's two women in this, uh, in this picture. One of them was always one of my top three um, instructors. So I commanded an F-15E fighter squadron. It was good to be the queen, not going to lie. But here's the thing. I don't, know, I don't know if leading women is different, right? But here's what I do know. <laughs> I felt that I was successful as a leader because I tailored my approach to everybody and every individual uniquely. I got to know each of them as human beings and what it was that made them tick. It takes time and effort, but if you really care about helping establish a culture and leading towards a vision, I think you need to put that time and that effort in. There were men here who, if I brought them up on stage to give them an award at my squadron commander's meeting, they would shut down for the next two years and hate me for embarrassing them, right? But there were other ones, you know, pet the bunny, right? Bring them on up, <laughs> right? Yes, thank you for showing up today, right? <laughs> As leaders, you don't always get to pick your team, right? Your team is, each person is unique individual with unique strengths. From here to here on this spectrum, sure, I may have been comfortable here with this group of people, and it's easy to just focus there, and it's easy to just lead there, but it's not the right thing to do. It's your job to do what it takes to put your arms all the way around every single person there. Not everybody here wanted to be a general. Not everybody in this picture wanted to become an instructor pilot, right? All of them were unique and reacted differently, and I think a tailored approach to leadership, even though it's hard on, to put on your schedule, if when you're a CEO or when you're running your own dealership, it's hard to do, but if, you, if it really matters to you and it's really a priority, you'll make it happen. Get to know each person individually.